Hello and welcome. So today I want to talk to you guys about a game called Sword of Legends Online. I want to just say this isn't a sponsored video. I've been given alpha access and some keys to give away. And I just want to give you guys some information on it and uh, let you know a little bit about the game. So first of all, it's a Chinese MMO. It's been out in China for, I want to say, three, two or three years right now. Um, and it's currently getting a Western release. The alpha actually starts today, which I will be streaming, by the way, pretty much all weekend on Twitch. Um, so be sure to give me a follow because I will be giving away keys to people on Twitch. Links right there, right now. Um, so a few things about this game. There is absolutely no pay to win or pay to convenience. It's very unlike other Asian games when there's a lot of pay to convenience and pay to win. That is not in this game. This is your stereotypical MMO. It is an Asian version of World of Warcraft with wings. You can fly with wings. I, oh, I just love that. I just love that. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. It follows the Holy, Tr uh, Holy Trinity. It's very stereotypical as an MMO. There's nothing groundbreaking in this game. Um, it uses tab targeting, but I don't think a game or an MMO needs to be groundbreaking right now. The market is pretty stale and this could be a very, very welcome change. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be giving away some keys. I'm also going to be giving away keys to one of you guys in the comments right now. If you leave a comment in the next few days, I'll pick out a winner to get access to the beta. Just a word of warning though, this is the alpha right now. Beta will be at a later date, but you'll have a key ready for when the beta is released. Um, so yeah, let's dig into some of the classes and see what they're all about. So the classes in this game, you have multiple specializations, two specializations per class, very similar to WoW. You can switch these specializations at any point. The first class is the Bard. Um, I know a lot of people love bards, they ask for it in loads of games. The bard in this game uses a harp. You have the dissonance spec, which is a ranged DPS. Um, it's, it looks pretty damn nice. I can't say if I've played this game. I want to try as many classes as, as I can this weekend and see what they're like. Um, as well as uh, the dissonance spec, you also have the other spec called harmony, which is a support, uh, support spec, um, all about buffing your allies and healing. Like I said, this game does follow a Holy Trinity. So you do have your healers, you have your tanks and your DPS. Uh, there are things such as damage meters in this game as well. Um, so the tanks have a very, very niche role of actually being tanks. They have to get aggro, hold aggro. It's not about tanks doing a load of DPS. They are there to tank. Um, so the next class is a Berserker. You have the Slayer, which is its melee. It's just stereotypical big boy with a big sword. Um, the spell effects in this game look absolutely great. It it is close to Final Fantasy in terms of visuals, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, the Slayer is your stereotypical big boy, big sword. And then the other spec for the uh, Berserker is the Drunken Master, which I believe is meant to be similar to a, a brew master almost. Um, it's, it's your stereotypical drunken monk tank, but again, with a big, big two-handed sword. Um, it looks very interesting. Reaper, this is probably the class I want to try the most right now. It's between this and the Spellblade, which we'll get into in a little bit. So the Reaper, it's got two specs. It has the Assassin, which is a melee spec, which you use a big, big ass scythe, which I absolutely love. Again, the visuals just look great. Um, I can't go too much into the classes right now. As I said, I've not played yet, but we will be digging into these on the Twitch stream. Um, so yeah, Assassin looks absolutely amazing. It, uh, it kind of reminds me of a Sorcerer a little bit from a, a BDO that I've been playing recently. And then you've also got the Occultist, which is a support, uh, support spec for the Assassin. Not for the Assassin, for the Reaper. It's all about debuffs and healing as well. Um, like, I, like I've said multiple times, this does follow the Holy Trinity. So the supports are here to support. They don't really do much damage. Um, but that doesn't mean they're not useful. They are, they are mandatory. The next class up is the Spearmaster. And the first spec in the Spearmaster is the General, which is your stereotypical big boy melee with a big spear. Very similar to the Dragoon, uh, Dragoon from Final Fantasy. And this is what I love about this game. Um, it is getting in archetypes that a lot of MMOs don't usually include, um, which I'm very excited for. Um, then you also have a Phalanx, which tanking with a big two-handed spear again. An archetype that you don't really see in any games. I will mention, I don't believe there is a sword and shield type tank in this game, um, which is kind of unusual. But I mean, it's a welcome change. A welcome change. Next up is going to be one of specs or the classes that I'm looking to try myself, which is a spell blade or spell sword, sorry. This is the only class in the game that has two DPS specs. There's no rain, uh, there's no healing and there's no tank spec. So the first one is a ranged DPS spec called a sword artist, uh, which kind of reminds me of some of the uh, spells you get in Dark Souls. I think it looks absolutely great. Um, this looks very, very fun. Um, 
this this was going to be my first choice to play until I looked into the Reaper a bit more. I still might play this first. We're going to have to wait and see. And then you got the Blade Storm, which is a melee DPS spec. Um, again, it's it's very like duelist based. It appears. Um, I kind of get like a uh, Fiora and Aurelia vibes from League of Legends. Um, next up, we have a Summoner. Summoner, you have your two specs. You have a ranged DPS spec as well as a support healing spec. Um, the first one is called Nature's Wrath, which is range. It's all about summoning things and dealing damage from afar. Um, again, it looks very... I, I mean, I think all these classes and specs look very fun. Um, I don't know if there's going to be enough time in the weekend to try them all, to be perfectly honest. But I want to give it a go. I do want to give it a go. Um, and then for the healing spec, you've got New Wood's Blessing. Um, again, it's all about buffing your allies and keeping them alive. Very stereotypical Holy Trinity style. Just try and keep people alive. You're not you're not focusing on doing damage. You're focusing on aiding your allies, which I think I like. I like. I am. I, I think it's healthy for games to follow the Holy Trinity. Sometimes uh, I know there's been a lot of games trying to reinvent the wheel, and sometimes it just falls flat on their face. And I'm kind of looking forward to having something that just follows the traditional MMO roots, and you almost you know what to expect. Um, so yeah. As I mentioned, there is no pay to win in this game whatsoever. There is a cash shop, which is for microtransactions, um, cosmetics only, mounts, weapon skins, armor, you name it. That's what's in there, um, which you know, I'm completely fine with. The graphics on this game are looking absolutely great. Like I said, I think this is a... Some of the spell effects remind me of Final Fantasy, which you haven't played, by the way. It has some of the most insane spell effects of any game I think I've seen. Um... It's got very, very customizable player housing. You can literally build your entire area, which I will be taking a look at as well. The only game which... It reminds me of Wildstar housing, if you guys have seen that before. The housing on Wildstar is very similar. You could customize the entire area. It was it was great. It was really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to play this game, guys. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to give it a go. And then afterwards, I'll be making a completely unbiased review video, which will be here on my channel. So make sure to subscribe for that. And... Um, yeah, like I said, if you want to have a chance at winning in a key, winning some keys, leave a comment in the description, hit that subscribe button. Also, come join me on the stream on the weekend. Well, later on today as well. Come join me on the stream and um, I'll be giving some more keys away there. Like I said, the game, I'm pretty, pretty excited. I, for those of you who know me, you know I'm kind of bored of WoW right now. And I've, I've just been looking to find a new MMO to start playing. Um, and I normally shy away from the Asian MMOs, but this one... I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling positive. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a good weekend and uh, hopefully see you in the stream. Bye.